Well, it's very important that we got to pack one, pick one soul ring because it's very much a. It's, you can't build a Mardu deck without a soul ring. It's just impossible, impossible to do. Oh, very cool, Dagon Chrome. You've been on an Arizona kick lately? Yeah, me too, Badagaboosh. I mean, I've just been drinking all kinds of tea. A tea fiend. So, Minskin Boo is not Mardu. <laughs> You said we can splash for power, though, right? Is that the... <laughs> I mean, it's a red card. Red card, right? <laughs> All right, let's take Verdant Catacombs. Get that Mardu fixin' going. I mean, Faith is looting Exhum. Those are, those are Mardu cards. You wouldn't be mad. <laughs> hmm. I've liked Carnosaur a lot lately. Think about Scale Lord as well. Hey, well, the odds of us wheeling that ephemerate. Yeah, Inquisition makes sense. Inquisition makes sense in this spot. I'm gonna take Recurring Nightmare. Cause I think we got a, I think we got a stew going here, and recurring nightmare helps us season the pot. I'm gonna take the Olafont out of this pack. Souls of the Lost plays really well with recurring nightmare, being a discard outlet and a creature. You'll probably come back, right? There's three, three black creatures here. I wouldn't mind any of them really, but Olafont will ideally be fixing, and we need that. On top of like not being bad in the reanimator type shell. What site is this? This is Magic Gathering Online. We might have a command for it. Yeah, it's that. Uh, Crab Abominations emerge is uh, seven mana. So Soul Ring isn't letting you turn to it. The emerge cost is actually more than the regular cost. Think about this troll, huh? This troll of Kazadum. Bitter Reunion is so good with this start, but I think I'm just gonna. <laughs> just gonna... <laughs> you thought this was Twitch? Yeah, this is Twitch.tv, friend. Yeah, I'm a big fan as well, Daniel Talk Thigh. Yeah, Woodblock, fucking. Um... Cowbell, big fan of Cowbell. We got some options here, right? Epicure is another good one with Recurring Nightmare. Archangel Elspeth, double white. is a little tricky currently. It's a good card, though, as we saw in that control shell. Sculler is a very Mardu card, but it's right here next to the first piece of actual fixing that we've seen so far. And we have two different ways of tutoring for it, so I think you just want to grab it there. The Faithless Looting Wield. Maybe Exhum was better, right? With two land cyclers that just been out of the open air. Just turn two fucking make a troll would have been solid. Yeah, I think I think I think Exhum was better than the looting. Looting's a better card than Exhum, of course. But I think when you already have Troll and Oliphant, maybe that changes things. Maybe the Unearth is interesting. Carnosaur self spins. I almost never do that. It's so expensive. The only time I'm self spinning Carnosaur is if um, things have gone wrong. Like, I need the removal spell, right? Well, there's a reanimate here. There's also Swords of Plowshares. And that card is worth splashing white for. We're going to take the reanimate, but my god, right? There's also Marsh Flats and Blackleaf Cliffs. This is a very Mardui pack. We'll find another reason to get white in here. We'll see a fourth or something, I'm sure. I like that Smuggler's Copter a lot. So I'm going to draft it. I'll take the damn Archon. Fine, fine, fine. Cowards. Cowards. 
Yeah, I'll be interested to see what we add in a betting white for him. I'm not going to play either the use of the Blood Chief's Thirst, I don't think. Chandra's not crazy as a turn two play of Soul Ring. They can also, like, just cast our sixes. Yeah, give me the Chandra. Alright, this is my last Sour Gummy Bear. I'll stop fucking with this package. Well, oh, there's two of them. Our one white card is Mana Tithe. I've defeated the Gummy Bears. Bit of Triumph is a discard outlet. We're not exactly low on discard outlets currently. Mind Twist is a solid card. It's kind of clunky here without the the um, the Soul Ring draws, though. I'm going to take the Scrum Mox. With two pitch um, neuters, the Scrum Mox is going to have a lot of fodder. And here I'm going to grab a Fable over Liliana. Oh, that Godless Shrine. I guess we already have a Godless Shrine effect, though, in the Triome. Badlands would tempt me more. Speak of, one of the better possible lands for our deck, right? Surreal lands are great in Reanimator. This one can be gotten with both Troll and Oliphant. And the Verdant Catacombs, huh? Another Plain Swamp, but it comes with Play Tapped. Could Stoneforge Mystic be my one white card? Maybe we'll see like a Lingering Souls or something, huh? Maybe I should just take the damn Brutality. Yeah, the double white on Skyclave is a bit iffy, but that would be a reasonable card otherwise. Let's take another, yet another discard outlet. This one playing really well with uh, Recurring Nightmare, right? Some late fixins. Whiteless Mardu. No, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Here, we have at least a white card. Not a bad one to loot away, huh? Loot away for value. Someone was asking about a dip in popularity of Ancient Tomb. Ancient Tomb's still a great card, but it's at its absolute best in single color aggro. And uh, a lot of the aggro decks are playing two or three colors now for the very powerful gold cards. Liliana versus Bone Shards, huh? I like the Bone Shards can hit Planeswalkers. We already have that Bitter Triumph, though. Doing something similar. Liliana's another card to potentially rebuy with the Reclamation as well. Right, Dagon Crow. But I, I was uh, um, trying to answer the question of like why it's less popular. And Artifacts is still good. Mostly that there's less Mono Red and Mono White. Mono Green... Yeah, you're fine, Dagon. I just assume that everyone, everyone's always talking to me, because I'm so fucking important. Just the center of the universe here. Hey, cheers, Marlin. Cheers, everybody. It's been a pleasant Monday night. Does Felia do anything in this deck, is a question. That Jacked Rabbit makes out a lot of tokens to sack to Recurring Nightmare. I think I'm supposed to take Duress here, but I'm going to think for a little bit. Is Philia blinking Fable sweet? I was talking about Ephemerate earlier with my, my crab and my carnosaur and such. Let's play, let's play this stupid dog. Well, the uh, Stip Donator did say that we could splash for blue power. I'm just glad it wasn't the, the green mox hum. Ooh, little Thoughtsies action. Little Thoughtsnees. Can be wet for power. Well, certainly am wet for power. Yeah, I don't really love Shallow Grave with our reanimated rubbles. I actually don't really like any of this. We have a couple token producers for staff. Mostly just want like the appropriate lands and stuff. Ooh, a life death. Like a plateau would be really good. We haven't seen any of those. Inanimate dead. No love for him there. No, no love for him there. Him is loveless and it will die alone. Be one of those empty ass funerals. 
someone walks in on an accident and then like feels obligated to stay for the service. I guess. How could I pass a card? I'd fucking do it again, Dragon Lord. I'd do it again. I'm, I'm a heartless monster. Yeah, this is how you successfully nail a stip, folks. Just have the deck handed to you on a platter. And then accept the platter. You got chemical burn today? Oh no, Anoxia. I hope you're better. I mean, I know burns take a little bit to heal. You're not better immediately, but... Hope it wasn't too bad. As far as uh, chemical burns go. Cut white? A uh, Mardu step? What's wrong with you? I think Philia Blinking Crab is going to be sick. A Reclamation actually has a lot of tasty targets. And a sweet one to, and a sweet one to loot away. I might cut Staff. Quite pleasant as far as terrible terrible chemical burns go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I suppose I have that coming. Wait, can Philia let me keep a creature that's been corpse danced? We cut this heat. I like having like a removal spell. I guess we have a couple in two, right? The bit of triumph and the collective brutality. Yeah, let's cut this unholy heat and then board it in like every single round. Moto is suggesting a five and two mana base with eight land slots open. What the fuck are you doing, Moto? Like twelve black sources, eight red, and three white. My God! Cheers to rat. Puts on five cards. They're gonna about to get turn two grizzle branded. Should I make an Atraxa? Let's make an Atraxa. They mold a five. They've got a creature in play. Archon. Archon. Sorry, sorry. I was saying the wrong thing. Gives me some of my life bank. I'm worried about like reanimating Grizzlebrand and then you just like have a Caracas in that spot. Why is the recurring nightmare out? Did I cut that on accident? I must have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the corpse dance should be out. I can fix that before the next thing. I kind of like these cards. Maybe I'll do this. Dragon Lord Freya. I missed Dragon Lord Freya's resub message. Did I? <laughs> on your On your request... I will not read your comment, Dragon Lord Freya. <laughs> but I do appreciate the sub. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, Boff. Hope you had a good one as well. What did it say? Nothing for the faint of heart. Nothing... Actually, when can I cast this troll? Like, pretty soon, right? I 
I think I like dressing and then putting the Talon Gates of Mari into play and on the opponent's turn and then just untapping and playing the troll. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, hard goodbye. These are the 14 months. It's your 40th. Hey, happy fucking 40th. Hard goodbye. I didn't pump figures, so I think... I think my opponent's going to have some kind of flash creature here. One of the more common B-Days. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, that's why they were holding up Reprieve. Would I rather have them Reprieve Troll or Oust Troll? I'd probably rather have Oust Troll, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to my 40th. I didn't think I didn't think I would be. I didn't think that was a birthday that I would be looking forward to. But my 30s were great. Are great. Does this interrupt the thing? It's it'll be phased out, so it, like it can't resolve, right? Oh, it still happened. How can it? How can it happen when it's phased out? How can a creature that's phased out level up? That's what I want to know. All right, I'm still gonna cast my troll. Instantly feel like the min the midlife crisis. I feel like a lot of midlife crises sound awesome, and just like random projects that I would be interested in anyway. Maybe I've already had mine. I was like axe throwing for a while. I've got like a giant log set up in my garage for axe throwing. I haven't done that at all this year. So I can Firebolt the Giver, but then I won't have mana. Let's just cast this and crack bitter. You had to work harder to keep your body from falling apart after 40. Oh, no. <laughs> I've been doing a lot more of that in my 30s than I thought I was going to be. I've been to physical therapy twice in my 30s. Oh, thanks for the uh, clarification, Ross. Wait, what did they just tap? Is this a Luris deck? Did they just put a Luris to hand? They did. Interesting. Actually, hold on. Olafon giving the Barogoyf trample next turn. Little Death Touch Trample. Hey, B Dob. Thanks for 58 months there. Appreciate that. I seem on a decent path taking care of myself now. Oh, yeah. The last year has been a, like a, a pretty great shift for me specifically. Nah, my Barragoyf. Oh, Barragoyf still got a hit in. Still got me some value, huh? Yeah, I really resisted the idea of going to physical therapy originally. And then um, after going for my wrists, finally, and, you know, when I could finally afford it, I was like, wow, this is so much better. I was way more willing to go when I started having consistent back problems. And I'm just like, very excited. <laughs> Very excited to not be in constant pain. Nobody wants to spend like however many, how much time like stretching and such every day, but if the, alter the alternative is much, much worse. Luris coming in. I mean, we can just flashback Firebolt on the Luris, right? 
Americans talking about affording it. It's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. Let's just serve here and see what the opponent does. Do we have lethal if we kind of sort this fucking thing? So it's currently two trampling over. This is eight. Wait, do we already have lethal? Okay, I'm prepared to go to damage. <laughs> that worked out all right. It's like, wait a minute, hold on. This deck's kind of sick, huh? Oh, I meant to take out the corpse dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a much better card. I did forget, yeah. Well, what I like in memory, I make up for in sweet, sweet gin. I might slow dredge a crab. Yeah, let's slow dredge a crab, huh? I don't know when we're going to get to Fable and Blood Tithe if we have to use Talon Gates as a red source. You didn't backseat soon enough. <laughs> Prepare to be banned. It's not really backseating. Reminding me to do a thing that I wanted to do. Oh no, I forgot to play my land. I haven't slow dredged anything in a long time. If they animate did this crab, I'm going to concede in response. Don't do it, opponent. Don't you fucking dare do it. There really is flax a bit. I felt like... When I was younger, every flavor of gin had like some variant of uh was some variant of London Dry, you know. Oh my god! So they can take my reanimate, but like if I draw a Mox here, I can just death the crab and get their Grizzle Brand, maybe. Come on! Well, Thoughtsies, Thoughtsies might buy me the turn I need. Let's get the Thoughtsies on. What you got? <laughs> they reanimate. Yeah, get that out of here. You don't need that. <laughs> and now the crab has another thing it can hit. It can hit the reanimate to get the grizzle brand. Is there value to telling Gatesing their Daw theme? In case I have to discard it end of turn, hum. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, no, they can't. They won't have death, right? They won't have death. They, like, if my crab whiffs on Grizzlebrand, they can't. If I, like, hit the collective brutality out of the graveyard. Oh, well, then if I hit their collective brutality, I won't have a hit. Whatever. I'm just going to do my thing. They're just off it. They're just fucking off it. Sending booze in the U.S. is a fucking nightmare, Flax a bit. And even within the U.S., Wisconsin has, like, some specific weird rules. Yeah, I mostly like that this track is called Divination. <laughs> Makes me want to draw two cards. Let's play Bad Hand. I fucking love this song. I want a little bit more removal to deal with Voidwalker. So bring in Firebolt 2. Cut Philly again. I think Philly should be in over Reclamation, actually, if they're Voidwalking. Here we go. Here we go. Can you call this Mardu with so little white? Yes! Yes, you can eat my chicken! Because the stip is Mardu! And we drafted a Mardu deck! <laughs> I feel like I don't just bin Archon here. I watch them reanimate it. I 
I think we just gotta let this resolve. They got a trumpeting Cathar, an Oliphant, and a Plains. A free Faithless looting. It's so good. Doesn't matter which one you kill, because you're going to death the Archon and get the other one. Shouldn't have played my land drop so hasty, Lank. I was playing around days. The second cra crab. This one found Bitter Triumph. And it stole my fucking Bargoyf. Alright, this crab was pretty good. Yeah, absolutely not. Anime did or bust? I mean, we're creating Nightmare would be hot here. We're pretty close to having the mana to cast our own crab, you know? Yeah, if your opponent's got top end stuff, then crab is pretty good. Is the white splash gonna do it for us? No, they just found bolt. When we thought seized them, we saw galvanic blast. <laughs> I was like, well, okay, they can seven me down to one, and then I'll dead them. No, okay. I wanted to win. Some real horse pussy right there. Maybe I'll get to grab them for a change. Uh, I like Collector Brutality against them. I don't know if I like the rest of the hand, right? Like, I like the Brutality and the Liliana. I think the rest of it's, like, kind of slow. I'm going to mull them. There's a little bit of a risk with them, like, Thought Season, the Grizzle Brand, and stealing it. But at least we have a lantern, huh? It's worth keeping. Hmm. Oh, Brickaruski on the brutality. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, some little milka thinks it's 75 months. The three quarters of a Twitch century. Hmm. I don't think they're looting. I don't know if Slice matters here. I don't think it does. Get out of here. And then Blood Token's going to cycle out with my Grizzle Brand here. Increase my chance of hitting my second red source of the Pyromancer. God damn it.
I like accidentally F6 <laughs> after I clicked the 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 loot. But on F6 in time. Yeah, that would not have given me much time here, huh? I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play the Soul Ring. I could discard it to make a 1 1 is the thing. Oh man. Choked on red. Yeah, they can kill the Pyromancer and actually get in a solid amount of damage here, right? Rebel Master gets pumped for three. So it's like eight damage, putting it at five. Not for me. Oh my god. I think the burn spell we left in their hand can go face two. I think I'm just dead. Yeah, the only card that could have gotten me out of this is that Collector Brutality Mine Graveyard, I think. Oh well, GG's. You're saying double Firebolt instead of playing the Bitter Union? Yeah, I don't know. Still a rough spot, hum. Because they have the brain spell in hand and the menacer and stuff. Might have been the line. Bergwave would have been hot. Some hasty lifelink. Take out the corpse dance. I could do that. I could do that. But only because it was my idea. Field of the Dead, eh? What the shit is all this? I should probably take the Minsk. I kind of want to take the Path, because that answers Archon. What am I actually getting this Archon, though? Yeah. Yeah, keep the Minsk. Minsk is too good to take. That's a little hamster that deserves to live. Oh, you would have taken the Talisman? I thought about it. I also thought about chromoxing the reclamation here to loot away Archon. Hey, Tim's a turd. Thanks for the 19 months there. You're very welcome for the streams. Yeah, I was hoping that they were going to need the uh, Coalition Relic as a middle step there. So this will be seven. The, hmm, they didn't up tank. I'm still gonna block. I was thinking they might hit their second white source for the angel and jump the boo and just fucking get me. Damn. Yeah, I was not expecting the mince down tick there. Mm. 
don't think I'm going to change anything. Hey. Some good cards there. If Archon loved me, it would have only dealt seven there. I think you're right, Bob and Cheese. I think you're right about that. So there's an argument to animate deading the troll. The better argument, we're going to do that. The other line is like Liliana Edict to your opponent's safekeeper. Who cares, right? You have a safekeeper. Good for you. Hmm. Not a fan of all that. Not a fan of that business. Opponent is doing good stuff. I don't like it. Wish they wish they'd cut it the fuck out. Wow, that is snap, let that dime. I would like the rest of your cards, please. Well, that game went a lot better, huh? Kind of like Mind Collapse is like one more answer to Minsk and Boo. And it also hits their Archon on the top. Or not Archon, uh, Omnath. Also hits that Omnath in case we need an answer to that one. Unlikely, but you never know. Unless it's kind of fucking rad, hum. I've been both fucking land searchers here. <laughs> I think I want to hold on to one of them. Ooh, love that Dagon Crow. Interesting. Okay. I 
like Archon so much. What if I got crab? What if I, what if I, what if I made the crab here? Let's, let's, let's crab it up. Do I have to play right now? Yeah, I do. Well, I should have played the Barrow Boy and then played Twister. I mean, Twister is funny. Should probably play that to Fairy, but Twister is funny. See, Mardu. We got a white card. We got a white permanent to play. We got a planes. We got a white card. The moistest Mardu you've ever seen. Getting back there, <laughs> sure. You got it, friend. <laughs> I assume I can play this card. Look at that. Look at that dog go. Is this even a Mardu deck, they ask? Ha! It's the goodest Mardu deck you've ever seen in your life. Sick. 